Alright, in this video I am going to show you how to flush the power steering. Now, there's a few different ways you can do this one. You can use a turkey baster in the power steering fluid reservoir. Just typhon it out and uh, I'll go from there. However, I am going to take a bigger approach and actually remove some of the lines to the power steering or the the rack and pinion and flush it out as much as I can that way. So we'll go through that process. So first what I've done is I've removed this to possibly remove as much of the pressure as possible. Uh, second thing is over here. This right here is the steering column. There are two hydraulic lines. There's the first one and there's the one right back there. What you're going to do is actually remove those. Um, on This is a 98 Saturn. Those are 18 millimeter. Um, I can't remember what type. There's actually a different type of uh, wrench you should use. Um, if anybody knows it, go ahead and place a comment. Um, but yeah, use that um, rather than an 18 millimeter wrench. Um, I have this one partially loose. You want to get both of those uh, removed. So give me a second. I only have one hand and no tripod. So we're going to have to get back to that. Give me just Okay. It is now a couple hours after I initially stopped recording just to get those things off. One, because... I figured out what the wrench was. It's called a flare wrench. I would get one. Second, you see that first hole right here? Let's see if I can get my hand out of it. This one came off relatively easily. The second one back here was a bear. Um, I think it's just been, let's see, it's 2012, it's 98, so 14 years, and I bet you that's the first time it's come off. So it was pretty much completely seized on there. Um, you are also working in a tight and close space. Um, as you notice, there is a pair of vice grips. I would actually not recommend using those because you do mar up the surface. However, that's I had to resort to that because I went out and got a flare wrench and it's still rounded the darn thing. So, uh, I made a mess. Okay, there is one line still dripping. This one here is the one that I just took off, so I'm going to let that drain. Because right now, this ball is pretty much doing is draining what's in the lines out. Now remember where these go, so you can put them back. This one is, if you're looking up, we'll just say we're looking up, um, it goes on the back screw. This one right here will go on the front. And this one right here, this is the bottom hose and this goes to the main one up top. All right, we'll let those drain for a minute or two. Um, I'm actually gonna push some fluid through some power steering. I got some brand new one. Hold on. Let's go and get it real quick. And box of all my stuff. There we go, power steering fluid. Now some people use ATF. Um, it doesn't really matter, power steering, ATF. It's pretty much the same thing, Fords use them. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. Right, here we go, I'm gonna push some fluid through. All you have to do really is just dump it into the reservoir and it should leak right out. Because at the moment the reservoir is empty after putting all that through. I know this is waste, but hey, it cleans out some of it too. Let's see. A little bit more in there. Here, it comes the sound to hear it coming out. So we'll just let that drain through. Should be pushing out some of that old stuff. I'll let that finish draining. Actually, it looks like it only went through one of them. Let me, get, let me put some more in there. This is why you get extra. Battery is back in. Now what I'm going to do is turn it to the on position. Do not start the motor. Do not start the engine because there is no fluid in the pump. So, and if you do start it up without any fluid in that pump, it'll actually possibly destroy it. So, uh, just leave it to the on position. What you're going to do is push the wheels back and forth a couple times to push it out of the, the rack and pinion. Um, and that will try to get as much of the fluid out as possible. So, here we go.
Oh, I could hear it, but I'm guessing it's like a little bit came out. So, what we're gonna do is actually uh, hook everything back up and we're gonna fill it up. Uh, so let me go ahead and do that. All right, those lines are nice and tight. Well, I was one of them as tight as I could because vice grips kind of just marred everything up. However, they're on there. Uh, I did take the liberty of putting anti-seize on there. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. It's just because those things were seized on the first time, I don't want that to happen again. Um, basically, because this process it is recommending you do it two or three times because it does not get all of it out. But for right now, um, what I'm going to do, everything's pretty much empty, so I'm going to start filling the reservoir. Get the cap off. And pretty much what you're doing is going to fill it pretty much to the brim um, and then let it drain down. Um, so let's see, let me do this one handed. Uh, there we go. And I'm going to make a mess. Oh well. I'm pretty much just going to let it drain down. You can actually hear it starting to bubble. That's a good thing. You want to get all the air out of the lines as much as possible. Alright. Let it sit there for a minute or two and bubble out. Yep, yeah, we're still going. Just add a little bit more for good measure. Now it's full. So what we're gonna do is just like you did with the lines out, uh, get back in the car. Uh, let's see, let's get back in the car. Turn it again to the accessories. Don't start it. Well, first you gotta do this while the battery's not in, or you can just start up. What this will do is try to get out some of that air out and do it like three or four times. All right, I went ahead and just single the wheel. Let's see what it looks like right now. All right. Now, it hasn't gone down that much. <clears throat> Let me check those lines again. It's not gone down mu that much. Those look like okay. So what I'm gonna do now, uh, see, I still see bubbles coming out. What I'm gonna do is put the battery back in, start it up, let it run for a minute, just turn the wheels back and forth. All right, let's go ahead and start it up again. Battery's been out for a while, so it's got to reconnect. All right, before I do anything else, check all the connections. And it looks like they're holding up pretty good. Our steering. Yeah, it's getting all that air out of there right now. Get the wheel a few turns. Uh, oops. So far, I've actually gone through about, this is about a quarter power steering. You may want to pick up at least two. Let's go 
ahead and turn the wheel again back and forth. Pretty much want to keep doing this, get, all, get as much of that air out of there as possible. Pretty much go from stop to stop, try not to smash into the stops. Looks like. Okay, I'm supposed to be a lot of you go ahead and do that with it off, with the cap off. It should help keep it moving forward. You got to do this a few, a few times. The more times you do it, the more times, uh, more bubbles you get out. So, I'm gonna be doing this for a few minutes. So, I'll cut out. All right, another 10 minutes or so. You can see, there's no bubbles. Now it is black again, um, but like I said, you will not get it all out the first pass, but you will get the majority, because um, a lot of that stuff is still in the rack and pinion and the steering column and all the lines. Um, so, like, you've got to do this at least two or three times, and then it'll start looking like fresh fluid. Um, you see, here's what the old stuff looked like. Didn't get much out. I mean, there was actually more than this, um, because I actually accidentally tipped this over earlier, but, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if this has never been changed. My car's got over 180,000 miles on it. Um, I am the second owner to it, so... It would probably be a good idea to start switching it out every so often, uh, like I did. So, again, hope this helps y'all. This right here is only one of the few other few things that I have done to my vehicle. So, I'm still learning, like everybody else. So, yeah, there's that line right there, doing nice and tight. So, alright, catch y'all later.